27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Showers and thunderstorms firing up over the last little bit here. Check this out. Plenty of activity across parts of Iowa, Illinois, and now Wisconsin. And it's all headed for us, or at least part of it. Check this out as we pull in closer to our area. We pause that image. You can see some of the heaviest of that shower and thunderstorm activity now nearing the southwestern reaches of the region. In fact, you can even see embedded within a few of these cells, specifically out near Richland Center and Cuba City, a couple of these cells have a little bit of an area of white associated with them. You can see Cuba City's kind of obstructed uh, by the highway there, but another little area of white just west of uh, Richland Center near Prairie du Chien. Uh, those are our indicators of small hail on your screen right now. Uh, and this is really why we've been watching these storm chances over the last little while, that threat of potential hail bringing a potential severe weather threat to the area. Now right now, Madison and Dane County not necessarily seeing much in the way of hail, but definitely seeing plenty of rainfall right now. East Washington Avenue glistening with that rain. There's that beautiful Capitol building there in the background. Temperatures 39 degrees, but we are seeing lightning and thunder out there. Thunderstorms in 39, not necessarily something that you ever see really uh, come together all that often, but that's indeed what we're dealing with right now. Now this is going to remain a rainfall event. We're not going to be dealing with any snow with this system. If we do see any freezing precip, it's going to be well to the north of us overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. You can see more widespread shower and thunderstorm activity rolling through the area between 1, 2, even as late as about 4 o'clock in the morning. That's when we're going to see the last that chance of potentially strong to severe storms exit the region. What will be left with early tomorrow? Some light lingering showers here and there with temperatures dwindling back down to those mid 30s for many of us. As of right now, the Storm Prediction Center maintaining that threat of potentially strong to severe storms for our southern and southwesternmost communities. The greatest threat of severe weather likely Davenport down towards Peoria and Champaign. Our best chances of potentially strong storms with that hail threat between midnight and around 4 o'clock in the morning. Beyond that, scattered rainfall will continue on. Some areas seeing upwards of about uh, half an inch of additional rain on top of what we've already received, so fairly active. Morning low temperatures again diving back down to those mid to upper 30s. I'm expecting a morning low temperature close to around uh, 35 degrees with, yes, isolated rain showers hanging on through 8 o'clock. If you're headed out to one of those Easter egg hunts tomorrow morning, Yes, temperatures will be closer to those mid to upper 40s by the afternoon. We'll stay dry, but mainly cloudy. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow, 47 degrees on Saturday. On Sunday, Easter Sunday, 48, but it looks as though chances of rainfall are back in the forecast for those Easter morning services. Scattered rain, a possibility with temperatures close to 48 degrees. Monday, we see a better chance of rainfall, 50 year high temperature that day, but Tuesday, bringing about chances of potential snowfall grace back to the forecast because even though it will be April, it's never too late for snow here in Madison. That is too true. If you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Oh gosh, you know, everywhere I've been, <laughs> that is the saying. But unfortunately, I feel like it's most realistic here. Unfortunately. All yeah. right, we'll check back in with you soon, Cam. Sounds good. All right, thanks.